bring in the people that they, they wanted to bring in and, and let's get a fresh start. The biggest news of the offseason was no doubt the three-year, $75 million contract the team gave to three-time All-Star Sonny Gray. Gray's presence alone has made an impact so far at Cardinals camp. The team is counting on the 34-year-old Vandy product as their new ace. I got the chance to chat with the newest Cardinal earlier this week. We were at the Blues, St. Louis Blues Hall of Fame uh, ceremony and we got talking with Brett Hull and he mentioned that you two have become kind of friends in Nashville. How did that happen and uh, what kind of friends are you with Hulley? He's one of our favorites. Yeah, he's a character, isn't he? He's great. He's great. He's been so good to me. We just kind of built a relationship through golf uh, and through sport um, and, and just and just through like just being a fun guy like he's just a fun guy winter warm-up you talked about kind of knowing you wanted to be a cardinal at, at a certain point in your career what did the cardinal way mean maybe before you got here um i think the cardinal way to me from the outside looking in um a lot of people can say a lot a lot of rules a lot of this a lot of that to me it was just um it was just a winning culture it was just a winning culture that was that has been created um, winning organization, but the 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 moon thing was just just a winning a winning culture. Just observing here, how meticulous are you personally? I see you keep a journal. Maybe you, it seems like you're very routine oriented. Just have you always been that kind of way? When I'm at my best, I have. I would say over the last probably two years or so, I've. Um, I've tried to, to take it to a next level as far as, as as far as that things. I was stuck in a I felt like I was stuck in a in a way of like, yeah, you're pretty good. You know, you're pretty good. Um, and it was okay being pretty good. You know, I was pretty good for a while and I was good for a while and I was pretty good for, for most of my career. Um, but I was I knew there was something else. I knew there was something I knew there was more. Um, so I got into um, creating a more consistent routine, a more healthy routine for me mentally, me physically, um, ways that um, getting into your 30s, talking to guys that have, I, I never wanted to be that guy who gets to their 30s and kind of starts fizzling out, because there's, there's so many guys throughout the league that have gotten into their 30s and they've not only sustained what they've done but they've also gotten better um, those guys are the ones who excite me those guys are the ones who, who I look who I look at those are guys who are the ones who I ask questions to I need structure in my life I need routine in my life that's when I'm at my best so it was kind of like okay how can I create that more for me doing the journal is one thing that's helped me tremendously um, creating healthier habits, creating um, a more consistent routine, um, all things that, that have helped me. And, you know, I'm still picking up things here and there along the way. Um, but I would say I'm, I'm, I'm so much better at it now uh, than, than I ever have been in my career. You're good, Dan. Coming up, we check in with Nolan Arenado.